Here's what your Fortnite pickaxe says about you. First up, we have the Leviathan Axe, because if this is your main pickaxe, you're really aggressive. You're also one of those players who own many different tryhard items, but you only use about three to five different items now. But that pickaxe doesn't really say that much, because one pickaxe lets players know you're trash. And another literally gives players superpowers, but before we get to those, people who use the five-digit slapper are the players who always have a decent amount of V-Bucks on their accounts. Mainly since these players always buy the new and most updated items. Then they buy items so much to the point where it's impossible for them to main something. Darth Vader's pickaxe lets people know you're a battle pass grinder. And you also only spend V-Bucks a couple of times every season since you only use battle pass items 90% of the time. And once the next battle pass comes out, you'll forget about this item. But players using the Wallopin' Web Hammer don't change their favorite pickaxe every season. I say that because this is the pickaxe that came out in the Chapter 3 Season 1 Battle Pass. So I'm willing to bet these players don't buy every single Battle Pass. The Reaper users are OG Sweats. And that's because these players use a lot of older items like the Ghoul Trooper and Recon Expert. Or, or they might be using it because they like how it sounds but most players using it don't care about buying cosmetics anymore. If you're using the Merry Minty Axe, you're probably a lucky player, because you own a lot of rare items that you never expected to be rare. So your locker is definitely good, but you're also good yourself at the game, since I never see noobs using the Minty. People using the Driver are the ones that eat, sleep, and breathe Arena, because these players are usually super sweaty, and if you play Arena, you're always going to see a lot of people using this pickaxe. It's like the more points you get, the more people you see using the driver. And the players who main the studded axe usually have a clean and satisfying playstyle compared to most. And these are the players who will have you confused in creative or build mode. But I personally love spectating studded axe users. But if you're using Catwoman's Claw, it's probably because it gives you superpowers. I'm not even joking. It was rumored that this is one of those pickaxes that gives you no input delay then you're definitely super sweaty, since you use only top-notch sweaty combos and only play in the sweatiest game modes. And there's one pickaxe that automatically lets everyone know that you are a trash. But first, let's talk about the Harley Hitter. Players using this pickaxe are usually the best ones on their team. It's like I never see Harley Hitter users wearing back blings, so, I mean, like, give them a try if you're one of those players. If the reformed Mjolnir is your go-to pickaxe, you're definitely a Marvel lover, and Chapter 2 Season 4 was probably your favorite season of all time. You also probably have more Marvel rarity items in your locker than any of the other ones if you use the Gold Crow. This lets me know that most of your favorite skins have gold in them, like Midas and Marigold, and you're one of the players who own every skin of this style. Then you're forced to use the Gold Crow since I mean, it's the best pickaxe for these skins. But if the ACDC is your main pickaxe, you're someone who used to be sweaty in Chapter 1. Then you stopped playing around Chapter 2, but came back in Chapter 3 because of the no-building game modes. And the only reason you still use the ACDC is since you don't buy cosmetics anymore. The Raiders Revenge owners also don't buy many cosmetics either. That's because this, legit, is the only pickaxe they use. And their accounts are either stacked or worth about $10 since they only have this pickaxe and flex on everyone they see. But if the Diamond Jack is your main pickaxe, you definitely bought the whole Travis Scott bundle. And that's because you actually liked every item in the bundle. And you never expected the Diamond Jack to become rare, but you're not complaining since you don't want it to return since it's your rarest pickaxe. If your main axe is the Hulk Smashers, this lets me know that you're one of those players who only like cool and exotic looking items. And this goes with skins and back blinks as well, because you never buy sweaty or rare items. And I could say the same about the Lucky Lance, right? But... Nah, I'm just joking. But this pickaxe lets me and everyone else know that you're one of the players who never, and I mean never, buy V-Bucks, since you only use the free items. And players who main the Icebreaker are the ones who never, and again, I mean never, buy any meme items, since they only care about the items like Scarlet Commander and Mogul Masters. Then I don't know why, but these players take Fortnite very seriously. Same with people using the crowbar. These players are OG tryhards, since the crowbar doesn't come out in the item shop, and you could have only unlocked it by completing the high stakes challenges. Then they're the players who only spend their V-Bucks on skins. I mean, you could buy a new pickaxe or something, bro. But if you're using the Regal Sunset, you're one of the players who only buy Fortnite bundles. And even if a skin comes out that you like, but it comes with a bundle, you're going to buy the whole bundle, every time. You also usually wear the default combos that come with the skins. And if you're using the Star Wand, you're probably a noob. Yeah, I'm not even joking. But that doesn't go for everyone. 
It's just that because so many players use this axe due to how popular it is, you have a ton of noobs, sweats, and casual players you'll run into using it. But if the throwback axe is your main pickaxe, you're probably one of the players who don't even care about cosmetics. Or you could be the insanely sweaty player that always pretends to be a noob. I'm serious, that's really a thing, and I hate running into these types of players. The Axe of Champions. Because players with this pickaxe are... I mean, they're literally the best Fortnite players in the world. You have to win the FNCS to get this pickaxe, and... I know I won't be getting it anytime soon. Actually, you know, I never. It's never gonna happen. But I did get the combat knife, and players who use this pickaxe love the unique looking pickaxes that are different from your typical Fortnite pickaxe. They also have small collections with all the unique pickaxes. They're also among the players who just play casually. And the ones using the Marshy Smasher are the ones that can get sweaty if they want to since they've been playing the game for a long time. But they don't really care about sweating since they're more meme players and just like having a lot of fun. But if you're using the Foundations pickaxe, you probably don't even think to change your pickaxe nor look at your locker since you're one of those players who always ready up in the game instead of returning to the lobby and that's because you're so busy trying to win. If you own or use the Stellar Axe a ton, this shows players that you're an exclusive item collector. You personally don't like spending money on the item shop cosmetics since you prefer the exclusive items that are more expensive and harder to get. And if you just own the Stellar Axe, you probably won't be using the classic pickaxe. Because if you're using the classic default pickaxe, that's probably because you don't own any other cosmetics due to losing your account or something like that. Or you could be using it because you just started playing Fortnite. But if you're using the party animal, you're one of those players who don't even keep up with sweaty items. And you also only buy pickaxes that have some type of cool feature to them. And you're using this axe because of how it sounds. If you're using Le Beau's Bow, you're one of those players who use pickaxes on the simpler side that don't have much going on with them. Because you might also use the studded axe from time to time, and that's because you hate pickaxes with annoying sound effects. But if the Omni Sword is your go-to pickaxe, you change up the way it looks after every few games. And it's not like you don't own a lot of different pickaxes, it's just that you're very addicted to changing up the way this pickaxe looks. Then I know the players who are using the Oasis Wind won't be using it for long, since it's an item you get for referring a friend. These players will do whatever it takes to get an item for free because they will most likely own the Refer a Friend skin. But if you're using the Cosmic Llamacorn, you're one of the players who bought the first crew pack to see how it was and then canceled the subscription afterward. So this is the only crew pack item you own, and you'll never resubscribe since you don't see the point to the crew packs. But if the Muramasa Blade is your main pickaxe, you're one of the players who've been subscribed to the crew membership for years and you own every single crew item. And you completely forget about the other crew items once a new pack gets released. And now you know what your pickaxe says about you. So click here to see what your skin says.